Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at Photoshop, and of course uh, we're working with some uh, almost like color by numbers here. And uh, just some quick coloring options here for filling things in. Um, how to select a specific area with your quick select tool or any of your selection tools, and then uh, painting on there. Um, so let's take a look here really quick. Um, I grabbed this really generic picture. It is fall here in Wisconsin and uh, it's, it's becoming more and more chilly and uh, this just felt right today. So um, let's go ahead and grab our quick select tool, give you an idea of what we're doing. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of the leaves here. And then after that's quick selected, the beauty of it is if I want to paint on this, and actually change the color of it, I can go ahead and uh, choose any color I want. So let's say we're going to go for one of those reds, uh, like a deeper red like that. Okay, and OK. And now with it selected and my paintbrush on, and I've got a pretty solid paintbrush here with no feathering on it because I'm just going to fill in the colors as solid as possible here, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint over that area. And you can see what we've got there. All right. And then I can repeat this process. I'm um, selecting a different area here. Uh, let's go ahead and go with this one. And let's grab more of like a yellowish orange, burnt orange looking color. Here we go. That looks good. And now I grab my paintbrush and oh, click OK. Grab that paintbrush. And now paint over that area. Now, I do have to be careful. Anything that I've got in here that's still selected, I can still paint over. Okay, so this area is still selected. I can still paint over that. Beauty is, though, I can't paint over anything else that's in here. All right, so that's kind of the nice part about the selection tool here. Now, this is just one of like a thousand ways to fill in color here to an area that you've got selected. And it's a quick one, and it's probably the most artistic way of doing it because you have the most control over it. Um, but... Um, here's another option for you, which we briefly talked about in our colorizing with the mug episode, uh, where we were recoloring our coffee mugs here. So again, I'm going to grab the quick select tool, and uh, I'm going to deselect everything that's going on here because I don't want what I'm going to do to affect everything. I'm going to grab a different leaf. Okay, grab a different color yet, and let's go more yellow here, yellow, there we are, something around in here. Okay, and now, instead of painting in here with this color, I picked my foreground color, I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to take that area that is selected, and I'm going to fill it. So now I click Fill, and I'm going to choose color, and actually I'm going to have to probably re-choose that color. Oh, wait, I could go Cancel. I can go color and I can go foreground color. This is your foreground color and your background color. So let's go with the foreground color and click OK. Boom. And I drop that in. That's yet another way that I can go ahead and color things in quickly here. So I'd like for you to go ahead and find an image that's black and white like this. It'll make it easy to select. Um, we'll work on a color picture tomorrow and work on changing some colors of some stuff by manually painting on there. But Black and white to start with is kind of an easy way to get used to selecting things and to recolor them. Okay, thanks again for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.